Hey, what is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby back at Costco to do a summer haul because the other day I was here and I saw a lot of really cool products for summer. I'm talking like grilling, chilling, snacks, staying cool, staying hydrated. So I thought it'd be fun to come here and show you a bunch of really good summer themed products to buy. And maybe more importantly, a bunch of items to stay away from. But before we do that, hook me up, baby. Subscribe to my channel because every week and I, Art and I are rocking out three videos now two videos on the weekend and a live stream during the week. And better yet, click that little bell icon right below the video because you'll get a push notification as soon as we go live and when we schedule live streams. And you guys, these live streams are super fun. We're cooking a recipe from start to finish and you do not want to miss out on that. All right, if we're doing a summer haul, it's only appropriate to start off with summer drinks. I figure we'll start off with kombucha, which is really, really popular. I don't really drink kombucha because it makes me super gassy but I want you to pay attention to a couple things with kombucha. Number one, how much sugar's in there and what the other ingredients are. So here's a very popular one, mini booch, love the name. I look at the ingredients and they're great, but there's one thing I see in all kombuchas, which I know you guys see too, cane sugar. So why do they put cane sugar in here? Why can't they use honey or something else? I talked to a kombucha master and he said that the probiotic SCOBY or the bacteria that starts or makes the uh, kombucha needs actual cane sugar to feed off of. It's not that much necessarily, but where the sugar starts to kind of ramp up is look, it's the natural fruit that goes in there. They put fruit purees. So I want you to be careful of that. I would say the lowest sugar one is right around the corner. It's the GT Synergy. That one's the best. One I would advise against is Kavita because when I look at the ingredients, I see the dreaded natural flavorings, right? And we've talked about this so many times lately. Once again, if you haven't heard me say it a dozen times, natural flavorings are nothing natural about them. It's an unregulated term by the government. As long as you start with something natural, like a peach, you could add as many chemicals as you want to it and still call it natural. So this one is off limits. I would say Bobby's choice for booch would be the GTs. Then we think of something really refreshing for the summer, by the pool, maybe by the, uh, by the beach. Have you seen this? Cold pressed watermelon water and cold pressed pineapple juice. Now, here's the deal. I don't typically buy these things. I was here the other day on Instagram stories and I bought it because I had to taste test it for the video. And this is really good. But when it says cold pressed, it's actually not cold pressed. Why? Because cold pressed juices only last about three to four days. Well, these have to be shelf stable for, I don't know, 30, 40 days. They do a little bit of pasteurization. So it's marketing misleading because when you pasteurize something, you kill some of the natural enzymes and vitamins and nutrients in there. That being said, there's still some good stuff in here, but not nearly as good as going to the juice store down the street, but it's way cheaper than going to the juice store. You can get one of these uh, boxes for about, two bucks a bottle, but also keep in mind the sugars, right? Even though it's one ingredient, watermelon and pineapple, it's still sugar, right? Sugar is sugar. And when I look at the cold pressed pineapple juice, a eight ounce serving has 27 grams of sugar. So you guys, 27 grams is about seven teaspoons of sugar in here. I would actually dilute this with water, same thing with the watermelon, or use it as a mixer for a drink, but keep that in mind. Um, and then let's go around the corner. I want to show you my favorite coconut water because there's a big difference in coconut waters at the grocery store. All right, it's this one, Harmless Harvest. This is my top choice in coconut water because look around the corner over there. You see the Kirkland and the Zyco and those other coconut waters. Those are pasteurized. Well, what happens when you pasteurize coconut water? You kill, once again, all those living uh, nutrients and enzymes, and all you're left with is potassium water. So we can drink this in the summer because it has high potassium and electrolytes. Well, over there, you're just overpaying for potassium. If you open this bottle or you look at it at the grocery store, it's pink inside and there's living organisms in there. The price here is great. Uh, usually at the store, it's super expensive. So this on a cold day is great. But once again, it's a little high in sugar. So dilute it with water. That's what I do. And then cold brew croft coffee is all the rage lately, right? But all you have to do is read the ingredients here of this high brew coffee. It sounds great, Mexican vanilla. But if we look at the ingredients, they're using cane sugar and natural flavorings, 11 additional grams of sugar added to this. That's almost three teaspoons and eight fluid ounces. 
make it yourself or buy a better quality one. I think La Colombe makes the best kind. But if you want to make your own uh, cold brew, it's literally eight parts ground coffee, one part cold water, steep at 24 hours, you're done, and it's way, way cheaper than buying this stuff. There is one more drink thing uh, I want to cover, then we'll move on. That's good stuff. Let's take a quick break and thank today's sponsor of the video, the Almond Cow. Desi and I make a ton of homemade almond milk at home. And usually it's with the blender and the nut milk bag and multiple bowls, and it's a major, major mess. Well, a fan emailed me last month and said, hey, have you ever heard of the Almond Cow? And I didn't. So I emailed the company. They are nice enough to send me a free one. Total game changer, you guys. You can make any kind of nut and seed milk at home just using those ingredients, water, any flavoring you want. You put it in the Almond Cow and you push a button and it's done. Best of all, it's cheaper than buying milk at the store and there's no waste. You get all that delicious pulp in the, in the middle of the almond cow, you can save that, put it in your smoothies, or you can dry it out and make like homemade almond flour. When you make it at home, you control what goes inside. And best of all, Almond Cow hooked us up with an awesome promo code down in the description box. You can get $15 off your first order. You guys, I'm telling you, if you like nut and uh, seed milk, you gotta try this. It's fun easy and you're going to save money so mad love to almond cow for sponsoring the video there is a problem with most of the flavored sparkling waters you're drinking my friends almost all of them have natural flavorings which are a no-go which is why we're going to recommend spindrift this one Spindrift is really good because there's no natural flavorings, no sugar. And how do they get that fruit flavor? Real fruit. It's water, real fruit, and lemon juice. It's super clean. And on a hot summer day, a cold can of this is way better than the other stuff with the natural flavorings. All right, we talked about this yesterday in the cheese review video, but riddle me this. What is the difference between this string cheese and that string cheese? Which, by the way, Art, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I used to love that stuff. Uh, still, do. still do, yes, right? Well, if you're still loving it, this is what you want to feed your kids this summer when they're snacking. The organic string cheese because organic dairy is where it's at. After this video is over, go watch our cheese review video. Anytime you have a chance to buy dairy, organic is better because it is uh, pasture raised at least four months of the year eating grass. Because of that, it's not eating grain fed GMO corn from Monsanto. It has higher omega 3s, lower omega 6s, the bad ones, and has higher CLAs, which are very, very responsible for a good heart and uh, lower, lower uh, obesity. So buy organic string cheese and organic dairy whenever you can. All right, this is interesting. There's two very similar snacks here. These are the Aussie Bites, but then I saw these. These are the Paleo Bites. And if you kind of read the ingredients and understand what's in here, I would much rather you buy the Paleo Bites because Aussie Bites have a good ingredient list, but number one, they have oats. Oats are actually very inflammatory. You might not realize it, but they could cause inflammation in your body. And even though they're organic oats, the glyphosate or the active ingredient in Monsanto's Roundup, once again, Monsanto, can run off and affect a lot of uh, oatmeal. The problem also is they're using organic sugar. If you watch our sugar review video, it doesn't matter if it's cane sugar, organic sugar, turbinado sugar, sugar in the raw, sugar is bad news. It's not just bad for obesity and diabetes, it's also bad for the good bacteria in your stomach. It kills them. So I would actually opt not to get that, and instead, the paleo bites. Paleo means there's no grain, so there's no uh, oats in here, and paleo means no sugar. So the sweetener they're using in here is honey. The rest of the ingredients are super clean, and this is a great snack for the summer that I would totally crush. I think I'm going to go for the brownie <laughs> bites. And this is what we in the business call art approved. <laughs> I'm so stoked, you guys. Finally, Costco has 100% grass-fed burgers. I've been waiting for this to come forever. I would like it fresh in the uh, bulk section, but pre-frozen patties are fine with me because the price is unbelievable. First of all, look at this. It's $3.80 a pound. I've never seen cheaper grass-fed beef. At Aldi, the fresh beef is $5.30 a pound. So this is amazing. Also, when you're buying grass-fed beef, it has to say 100% grass-fed or grass-fed and grass-finished. We talked about that recently in our grass-fed beef video. At the end of this video, watch that one and you'll realize why you wanna start buying grass-fed beef. Because demand keeps going up, a lot of people are sneaking a little thing by us, right? Instead of doing 100% grass-fed, the last three or six months of their life, they're feeding it grain. Case in point, come right down here, Art. Look at these burgers. The packaging 
blatantly says right here, grass fed, right? But I did some research and I found out these are not 100% grass fed. These are finished on grain. When you do that, you pretty much reverse all of the health benefits of grass fed in the first point. So never buy that. And then nine times out of 10, buffalo burgers are 100% grass fed. These right here actually say on the packaging, grain fed for taste. My friends, it's not grain fed for taste, it's grain fed for money. The quicker you can get this to slaughter, the more money the, the uh, farmers make. They do this because it's cheaper and way quicker. I would never buy grain fed, I would always buy 100% grass fed bison. Also, the bison they have at the uh, bulk section, the unfrozen, is the same company, so I would avoid that too. Now, what's summertime with burgers and ice cream? Now, if you're gonna pick an ice cream here, which I'm not the biggest fan of, you might think the most premium one would be this Oberweiss here. But if we look at the back of the packaging here, it's made with carrageenan and corn syrup. Corn syrup is not needed here. You can just use sugar. And carrageenan is that natural seaweed emulsifier we've talked about in the past. It's really bad for your stomach bacteria and your intestines. So I would not buy this. All right, here's a really interesting item in the cooler here. Sous vide egg bites. I saw this recently on uh, Instagram and it's a really cool idea for a healthy breakfast on the go. It's a take on the sous vide egg bites at Starbucks, which are like $4.79 for two. The problem is just like the ingredients at Starbucks, these are not good either. If we look around here, there's a really long laundry list of ingredients, including natural flavorings, tons of preservatives. So you're much better using the Flav City sous vide egg bites. I'll put the recipe down below. It's much cleaner than this and it's keto because in here they use starches like potato starch. Mine does not have that. Comes out to about a buck 27 for two sous vide egg bites serving. So I do love the idea of this as a quick breakfast. I just wouldn't get these at Costco. My recipe is way better. Now let's talk sweeteners for a second for your lemonade and stuff. Hey, if you're one of the lucky few who now have the uh, monk fruit sweetener at your Costco, you should be really happy. We don't have it yet here in Chicago, but this is relatively new. It's erythritol. It's a sugar-free sweetener. It's a little more sweet than sugar, so you only need about uh, three quarters of a teaspoon to one teaspoon of sugar. It's a great keto sweetener because it doesn't spike your blood sugar, um, but I much prefer the uh, Lacanto monk fruit sweetener, so grab that at your local Costco. But I would get this over this. So even though it's the same company, and you might think, oh, well, this is stevia leaf and monk fruit. No, no, no. We turn it around. It's got that one devilish ingredient, natural flavoring, right? So we always have to read the labels because on the surface it looks great, but we're going to put that back. We're going to get that erythritol and better yet, we're going to get that monk fruit if you're lucky enough to have it. Okay, is it me or is the book section here at Costco shrinking even more? And is it me or is 90% of the books here keto and they still haven't ordered the Keto Meal Prep by Flav City book? I don't know what they're waiting for, you guys. I'm going to drop a note in the suggestion box in the front. Maybe you should too or send them an email. Uh, there's over 400 five-star ratings of our book on Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below. If you're looking for low carb recipes that actually taste good and make it feel like you don't dieting and not sacrificing flavor, this is the book, you guys. Every recipe has a photo, detailed macros and tips and videos to hook you up and help you lose weight without sacrificing flavor. So hopefully one day Costco is going to get on the bandwagon. But if you want to support the book, I'll put the Amazon link down below. Mad love to everyone who's bought it so far. All right, you guys, here's two really interesting finds here. The first one is collagen peptides. I'm huge on collagen. I take this every day in my shake. The reason is as you get older, the natural collagen in your body goes away. This is not only replacing that, it's also very good for your hair, your skin, your teeth, and your nails. Plus one scoop of this has nine grams of protein. So add this to your protein shake or heck, do it just with uh, coffee or water in the morning. It's a great, great protein booster. So is the price, look at that. $29 for a monster 24 ounce jug. I've seen ones half this size for the same price at Whole Foods. Then this one is uh, the same product, but it has MCTs in here. Check the price on this, right? It says until what, like August 4th? Hurry to your Costco and get this because this, once again, is the grass-fed 
collagen peptide powder. Both are grass-fed. Whenever you get collagen peptides, they have to be grass-fed. And it has MCT oil powder in there, medium-chain triglycerides, which are great for weight loss and great for energy. So both these are great scoops here. Seeking in the MCT theme, grab this around the corner. This is organic MCT oil. Once again, you could put this in your tea, coffee, and shake. It's just pure MCT, great for energy, great for keto, great for um, weight loss. So another great product here and a great supplement because a lot of these supplements I don't believe in, but these are ones that are really good. And speaking of the ones I don't believe in, right next to you, Art, is Premier Protein Clear Protein Dream. Okay, this brand's a little suspect. And when I show you guys the ingredients on top here, Check it out, they have natural flavoring in here. They have sucralose, which is another word for Splenda. So that's the example of the low quality protein and supplements you don't wanna take, but the collagen peptides are the real deal. All right, we definitely need a salad dressing for our summer cookout. Um, and we did a review of salad dressings at the grocery store the other week. So once again, when this one is done, check that out because most of the salad dressings at the store use low quality, high processed oils like soybean or canola. This one is amazing because it's made with chickpeas and this flavor is fantastic also because it has roasted red peppers but more importantly look at the ingredients what oil are they using extra virgin olive oil that is one of the best most tasty heart healthy oils you can get it's so hard to find store-bought dressings that use that and they use that i do wish the chickpeas would be organic because they're very susceptible to soaking up pesticides and stuff like that it's not but i'm okay with it because there's one gram of sugar there is barely any sodium. This is super, super clean, and I love this brand, so scoop that one for sure. All right, gonna be firing up those grills in the summer, and we talked about oils. We talked about every oil here at Costco, actually, in the oils review video, so check that one out. But really quickly, there's two kinds of cooking oil sprays you can use, canola and aerosol-based, and avocado and non-aerosol-based. You always wanna use this one, because this one has two strikes against it. Number one, it's using canola oil, which is highly processed and highly refined. And how did they get the oil out of the canister? It's propellant or aerosol. Those chemicals are really bad for you. This one is the one good for you because they're subbing out the really cruddy uh, canola oil with heart healthy avocado oil. And there's no propellants that push this out of the bottle. And the price here is amazing at $5.89 for two jars of this. So get this for sure. It'll be your go-to oil spray for the summer. Hydration mixes okay this stuff is such a crock because electrolytes come in the forms of many natural things they usually don't come in the form of powders and sure enough we look at the ingredients it has natural flavorings and the first ingredient is pure cane sugar pure cane sugar to the tune of 11 grams of sugar it says on the back here it's the express lane to hydration i actually think it's the express lane to diabetes but i would stay away from that one here's a super interesting product avocado chunks which is actually pretty good for the summer in case you wanna like throw them in a salad or something because two things. Number one, what is the deal with avocado prices? Have you been to the market lately? I've seen two bucks for a large avocado. Either there's a shortage in Mexico or tariffs, but that's crazy. But the price is pretty good. Three pounds for $9.79. Initially, I thought maybe I'd turn it over and see some bad ingredients, but it's two ingredients, avocados and ascorbic acid, which is basically citrus or vitamin C to prevent it from turning brown. So this is a super cool find. I probably like the texture of fresh avocados, but maybe having a bag of these in the freezer during this crisis we're in right now might not be a bad idea, especially for the summer. These are super popular these days, especially in the summer. And yes, like the sign says, they do really taste like cotton candy, although Art has not tried it yet, right? Right. But I want you to be careful because the fact that they taste like cotton candy is because they're twice as sweet and have twice the amount of calories as regular grapes. So while they might be really good poolside, keep that in mind. If you want a super good treat, freeze these. Frozen grapes, amazing. Frozen cotton candy grapes, even more amazing, but sugar is high. So just wanted to let you know that. I can't believe I missed this on the Costco snack haul uh, the other week. Maybe the best protein bar I've ever seen before is this. I mean, look at this, the perfect bar literally is perfect. If you look at the ingredients, everything's organic, super clean, no additives, no natural flavorings. So this is fantastic for a protein bar in the morning or as a snack. And then right next to it, I saw this egg thin or egg crepes. How cool is this, right? If you want a low carb crepe for the morning, uh, like breakfast or a snack or even a dinner, this is great and I gotta give them credit the ingredients are nice. We got non-GMO canola oil in there. 
Um, the only thing I might fault them for a little bit is the egg is a cage-free egg. And if you know from our egg review video, cage-free is just a marketing gimmick. Ideal world, it'd be a pasture-raised egg. We don't live in an ideal world, but this is a great keto, low-carb, and paleo crepe. I love that. Normally when I think about sausages and kielbasa, I think about low-quality meat. Look at this, you guys. These kielbasas are made with 100% grass-fed beef. Amazing, perfect for the grill. You look at the ingredients, everything's clean. So that is a big surprise and I love that. Kind of a surprise right below it is pre-made, sliced 100% grass, grass-fed beef sirloin. I don't love the fact that they're using canola oil here, but I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Pretty cool. And then I come down here, and also when I think of chicken sausages, I think of low quality chicken and tons of preservatives. These are paleo chicken sausages with organic chicken and super clean ingredients, no sugar, which they often sneak into sausages. So this would be great for the grill. This and the kielbasa grass fed, killer combination. Chicken pepperoni, make sure y'all get y'all box today. It's $12.99 for a two pack box. Thin mm. crust, real frozen oh, pizza. Mozzarella. You probably don't approve of that. <laughs> All right, so we just rocked this Costco haul like a boss. And what's the best part? We didn't get kicked out. That's always a positive, right? So hit us up in the comments down below. Let us know where you want us to go next, what things you want us to see. Like, subscribe, sharing is caring. But until then, we got two videos down below. And Bobby and I will see you next time. So remember, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. Peace. Art nailed that.